Hello, Mr. Mayor. This is Dr. Insidious. Your time is up. I'm going to activate my doomsday device and the city will be mine. H Hello, Mr. Mayor? Mr. Mayor, do you, do you hear? Oh, man. It's my TV remote. I was watching Sesame Street earlier. Oh, well, now he's really going to hear it now. Hello, Mr. Mayor. This is Dr. Insidious. Your time is up. I'm going to activate my doomsday device and the city will be mine. All mine. Do you hear me, Mr. Mayor? Put down that device, Dr. Insidious. Oh, you're too late, Miss Diva. Uh, it's 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock? Holy cow. That's right. The city is now mine. And because the mayor refuses to pay... What are you doing? What? I'm trying to talk to you right here. One second. Hello, Mom? It's Christina. Sorry I didn't call sooner, but I'm going to be a little late. Um, yes, I'm still fighting crime. How much late? Not too long. As soon as I defeat Dr. Insidious, 10 or, or 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Uh, probably closer to 10. 10? Okay. I love you too. Sorry, you were saying something? Did, did you just call your mom? Of course I did. Mom always says, if you're going to be late, call. She wants to know if I'm safe. Safe? You're the supreme diva. I mean, you've been uh, a superhero since you were uh, given up to a supreme alien race. And I have a mom and a dad who love me and want me to be safe. That's why I always listen to what they tell me. Oh yeah? Did your parents teach you to run fast? Oh. 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 No, but they did teach me to tie my shoes. Oh. Oh. I can't believe that I was foiled by uh, a, a little baby that listens to her mommy. <laughs> well, the Bible does say, that if you listen to your parents, you'll live a long life. You might want to give that some thought, Doctor. Ha! Ah, yeah, right. I told you it wouldn't take any more than 10 minutes. Oh, hey guys. Did you see that weirdo with the white hair that was here? Yeah, that Dr. Insidious, he's pretty crazy. I think he's kind of smelly too. Ooh. <laughs> Well, speaking of smelly, we got some shoes here. These must be yours. No, these are my shoes. And um, when I was a kid, my dad taught me how to tie my shoes. And the way he taught me is is you do the uh, you do the tie, and then you got the bunny ears, one bunny ear, and then the two bunny ears, and then you tie them together, and boom. Hippity oh, hoppity, we got some bunny ears. My dad taught me how to tie my shoes. It was well, so cool. Well, my mom taught me how to tie mine. And first, you do the loop, swoop, and pull method. That one was really, really easy. Wow. That looked a lot easier yeah. than my way. Uh, your mom must be an amazing person. Yeah. Moms and dads do so much for us. It's easy to take them for granted. Moms and dads were there when we... The, from the first time we sat up to stood up on our own or took our very first steps or said a word or fed ourselves. They've taught us, us everything from how to use the potty to how to ride a bike. <laughs> you said potty. <laughs> uh, your parents are a gift from God. God gave them the job of raising you and teaching you how to love, how to, to love others, and how to have friends. Now, your parents will always be for there for you. From, from the very beginning of the day to the very end of the day, they're always going to be there for you. Uh, they'll be teaching you new things, even into adulthood. I know I learn so much from my mom and dad, uh, even though I'm an adult. Uh, so they will always love you and they'll always teach you new things. God wants all children young and old, to respect your parents. Yes. Just like Superman, we need to listen to what they say. Uh, you may not always agree with what they say or what they do or what they tell you, uh, but more often than not, you will find out that they are right 
all the time. So just remember that. Uh, if you got your Bibles, grab them, and we're going to talk about what God has to say about this yes. in just a minute, okay? So we'll be right back. It's hard to believe that superheroes have been around about a hundred years. It was in 1938 that kids first read the story of Superman. A year later, it was Batman was born. And over the next decade, dozens more caped and masked crusaders emerged from the pages of the comic books. There's something about superheroes that just still touches the kid in all of us. Mm -hmm. um, there, there's a hero for just about everybody. I, I like The Flash. The Flash is one of my favorite. Uh, there's heroes that have like been born with superpowers, like Superman, uh, Wonder Woman, X-Men. Uh, there are heroes that were gifted with powers that uh, maybe they made themselves like that. Maybe Iron Man, Captain America, and, and some by accident, like maybe Spider-Man who got bit by a spider, or the Hulk. You know, And there's heroes that become super through their own intelligence, like Batman or Ant-Man. Or even Iron Man too. Heroes come in all shapes and sizes and colors and some use technology, some wear masks, some um, are simply just pretty much amazing, even astonishing or uncanny. But there are some traits that are nearly all superheroes share in common. These traits are part of what makes them super, and they're traits that make us super too. The first thing we're going to talk about may surprise you. It's not the first thing you think about when you think of superheroes. In fact, some of you may even never realize this about your favorite hero. Some of you may think your moms and dad put me up to telling you about this. That's because the first characteristic of a hero is they listen to their moms and dads. What? Yeah. No. -uh. Wow. That is a good trait yeah, to have. Uh, I know this sounds made up, but it's the truth. Most superheroes are good listeners uh, when it comes to their parents or, or at least their parental figures. You know, Spider-Man, he had... Uh, his aunt and uncle he adored, you know, Superman had his adopted parents, now Iron Man, he, he adored his dad. I mean, they, they all had a high esteem for their parents. Mm -hmm. um, they, they did a lot of things to teach them about being a good person or looking out for others. Uh, so, uh, uh, but what I want to talk about is the Bible has some advice for those of us that want to live for God. Honor your father and mother was it a command, was a commandment it was number five in the Old Testament. Uh, we just talked about that a few weeks ago. It was so awesome to talk about that because if God has something to say, it's awesome for us to listen to it. Uh, Paul reminds early Christians that God wants us to honor our parents. So if you got your Bible, let's open up to Ephesians chapter 6, and we're going to read verses 1 through 3. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and your mother, which is the first commandment with a promise so that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy a long life on earth. Clark Kent listened to his parents because he knew they were wise. Even though they were human and didn't have superpowers like him, they were, their wisdom was invaluable to him growing up as an adult. God gave us parents to teach us wisdom. He gave us moms and dads to guide us through our journey from babies to adults. And if we are wise, we will continue to listen to them well into our adult years. A wise superhero knows that mom and dad are always there for them. And when mom and dad speak, they sit and quietly and listen. Mm, that's a good point, sit mm -hmm. quiet and listen. Uh, think about all the things that your mom and dad have taught you, things that you have taken for granted every day. Uh, did you get out of bed this morning? Uh, yeah. Did you dress yourself this morning? Pretty much probably did. Did you feed yourself some breakfast? Did you have some food in the cupboards to eat? Did you talk with your family and friends uh, before church? Uh, brush your teeth? All of these things 
came from mom and dad, didn't they? They taught us how to do these things. They provided for these things. Mom and dads are also the people responsible for teaching us about Jesus. Yes. Uh, that's why we're here today, right? Uh, to learn about Jesus. Uh, more important than going to church or coming online to Kids Own Online, God wants mom and dads to show us the love of God. They need to. They want to live it out so we can see that in their in their actions. Now, when we see mom and dad read their Bible, or when we see them pray, or when we see them uh, share their faith, uh, that's how we learn, and that's how we learn to live out our faith. Yeah, that's a big job they have, right? And God wants us to follow them as best as we can. Moms and dads work hard, right? to provide for a good home for their kids, and they make more sacrifices than you will ever know to give you a good childhood and an education. They want you to, whatever they want you to have. Moms and dads work very hard to teach their kids for right from wrong. Yeah, so they can grow up to be responsible adults. Wow, yeah. No wonder the creators of Superman put so much emphasis on their parents, yeah. on their adopted parents. Good parents can help anyone grow up to be super. I mean, you don't have to be Superman to be super. Moms and dads are a gift from God. They give us love, they give us wisdom and guidance that we will never forget. Uh, if we wanna be super and we wanna honor them and love them in return, uh, listening and following their directions is one of the best ways that we can show how much we appreciate your moms and dads. So I encourage you to listen to your moms and dads. Even if you don't like what you hear, listen, because that's how you will learn the best in life. Yes, I think we should pray. Let's pray, let's pray. You wanna pray or you want me to pray? Mm, I'll pray. Okay. Dear God, um, I ask that you, um, Give us ears and wisdom to listen to our parents and that they um, also that they are guided in the right way, that they show us how to open our Bibles and, and um, provide for us, though. Also, Lord, that um, that you help them provide us food and education, Lord, even during this time where we're homeschooling, that um, that you're even looking over our moms and dads even more, Lord, and and over us. And that you help us be guided. Lord, we ask this in your name. Amen. 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 That is so awesome. Uh, God has a lot for you yes. in his word. I encourage you when you're sitting at home and you got your homework done, I, I encourage you to keep this book, keep this Bible next to you with all your schoolwork because it is more important than what you're learning in those books. And when you have some time, go through and read uh, some of the New Testament. Read what Jesus had to say. Jesus was so wise. He taught us so much. And I, I just pray that when we come back here next week, you'll be ready to learn and ready to be super with us. So I encourage you, come back and invite your friends to see us next week, okay? Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.